Hello! Today's dilemma is to figure out how to use a ratchet strap with a two-wheel hand truck. Occasionally, when moving some items, a load may tend to shift or lean, especially when hauling items over a non-level terrain, such as a lawn or a dirt or gravel path, or the ground is soft due to rain, or the ground is thawing in the spring. The problem is with a common ratchet strap is the extra strap is a nuisance to roll back up or keep it out of the way while you're using it. After using the ratchet strap, it has to be rolled up and stored. To solve this problem, I decided to purchase a set of retractable ratchet straps. They are similar to the seat belt in your vehicle. After you unhook the seat belt, it retracts and is stored out of the way. The brand I purchased is the DC Cargo Mall 1 inch by 6 foot bolt on retractable ratchet strap. I chose the bolt on versus the style with a hook at each end to allow me to have a permanently affixed strap on the hand truck. That way it is always available and ready to use. I monitored it using two clamps I had on hand from other projects. One clamp is a large cable clamp I placed below a 1 and 3 quarter inch muffler clamp with a 3 8 inch U-bolt. Ideally, I would prefer to mount it to allow it to be adjusted vertically using a hand tight knob bolt. However, I already had the clamps and I had to choose to use what I had on hand and will try to perfect it at a later time. Hardware is getting pricey, so any time you can use what you have, the better. Some places to purchase hardware at a good price are flea markets, auctions, and yard sales. To look for hardware and other items you need, check out moving sales. They may be moving into an apartment or a condo and may no longer need their household maintenance items such as shovels, rakes, lubricants, nuts, bolts, screws, etc. I have a friend who enjoys yard sale and is always on the lookout for these items. The ratchet strap has a bolt included. The bolt is longer than what I needed and I did not want to drill a hole in the hand truck. After securing the muffler clamp, I then placed a jam nut onto the end of the U-bolt. If you have trouble getting a socket or wrench onto the nut, back off the jam nut, thread the securing nut onto the bolt, then tighten it by moving the jam nut towards the ratchet strap base and tighten. The original purpose to install the retractable ratchet strap was to use on the hand truck with my Milwaukee pack out drawer toolboxes. I was using the rolling cart, however, to get tools out of the bottom of the cart, I had to take the upper toolboxes off. Okay, I'll show you how easy this strap is to use. To get started, you got your load ready to go, and you push on this red button, pulls out the strap, go ahead and secure the load. Now I can hook it onto this other part of the cart and I start ratcheting. Now we're ready to go. It's in the lock position. When I get ready to go, I'm done. All I'm going to do, push this down, pull that out, easily remove the strap, press on the red button. I'm ready to go get the next stack of totes water heater, whatever you might have to move. And that way it's always... Now this is what it looks like with the pack-out boxes and the pack-out crate. The reason I chose the six feet is because this is how I'm going to be using it. I still have not perfected doing the base on the hand truck but I got that in the works, but this is basically why I chose the six feet. If you're going to be hauling larger items, you may consider going ahead and moving up to the 10 feet. I say the six feet for my purposes, this is what I needed, and that's what we have. 